By the grace of God, we met uh, Brian Kayonga, I think, a few years ago in the U.S. He happened to come to a meeting where I was preaching. And I think he was fascinated by some of the things that I was saying. And they seemed to stir a lot of what was in him. I seem to have a language of certain things he never had words for, of experiences that happened in his life. Um, and he seemed to want to have more understanding and fellowship. So we built that relationship uh, with him. And over the course of the years, he has happened to come into Uganda back and forth. And today we are here. So I am a pastor with a ministry called Federal Ministers International. We are over 10 years old. We are all over the world. We thank God for what he is doing. And we have seen God do a lot, not only in Uganda, but across the globe. Uh, we have seen a lot of people healed, changed. We have seen many souls come to the Lordship of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Sometimes we are able to speak to people like you in the marketplace. If you know, some of you know Brian's story. Uh, Brian's story, he started as a young man in Uganda, and the Lord moved him to the United States of America. But I don't have time to share much of his story, but there are principles that govern everything that we're able to manifest. That young man there is quite successful, I would say, in the U.S., and he's come here to do uh, a couple of things with his dear wife. But I'll start this way, because my responsibility is to open up the concept of Bible meets business. Uh, if you open your Bibles, those of you who have a Bible, I'll share a quick scripture in Psalms 24, verse 1. The Bible says, the whole earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. And it says, and the world is also his, and they that dwell in it. That means, even in our understanding of business, it's important to understand depending on what denomination and what inclination you have towards faith, that there is a God of this universe, that the author and finisher of our faith is the Lord himself. So it's important to understand. And if you understand that, then you understand that for whatever we do in this physical world, there has to be a purpose connected to the bigger picture. Want it or not, the most successful people in the world, whether they are believers in the Lord, or not. Many of them have connected with spiritual principles. Because you cannot manifest certain things without principles. It's impossible. For example, there are very many uh, virtues uh, in business, maybe diligence, hard work, faith, whatever it is. And then there are principles that govern everything. And I'm going to share something in a few minutes um, just to elucidate what I'm trying to say. Ephesians 5, verse 13. The Bible says, But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, and whatsoever does make manifest is light. Now listen, it says, But all things, not some, it says, All things that are reproved. The word reproved is to manifest for the purpose of correction, to expose for the purpose of correction. The scripture says, they are manifest, they are revealed by the light. That means for anything to be seen in this physical world, it has to be revealed by a certain light. Now that scripture says that all things that are reproved, that are exposed, are manifest by the light. We who believe in Jesus Christ know who the light is. The light is the Lord Jesus Christ. But then the Bible continues to say, and whatsoever thing is manifested, it's manifested by light. So there are various lights in the world. There are various lights. And depending to what inclination you have, you might have a definition of what light is. But I want to thank uh, God for this man. That This man clearly is a, is a believer in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please clap for him. And I, and I want to thank him so much for being bold about his faith. Because I have had, sat down and I have seen what he has been able to do. And it's simply by the faith of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So listen, everything that is manifest is manifested to the degree of what light is being shown upon it. For example, those of you who probably have gone to this uh, discourse, you'll realize that your dress will look 
the color it looks based on the kind of light that is being shown upon you. Do you understand me? So you could have a white dress, but because of the light that's being shown upon, it could appear pink. So you could come to me and say, but that dress is pink. And then another man saw it under a different light and said it's white. So it means the opinion of the color of the dress varies based on the light shown upon it. Because the essence of light is to manifest. If you see a man rise up and become a multi-millionaire in millions of dollars in whatever field they are, there is a certain light that has manifested upon their light. That's why most men, if you understand, the Bible calls people stars. Because stars don't have their own light. There is a certain light that is cast upon it. And the brighter the light on the star, the brighter the star. That's where the name superstars comes from. So it means that you are succe as successful in this world as the degree of the light upon your life. To this day, I recently read, read, had a report from Tim Cook, who is the current CEO of Apple. He says the fourth floor to this day is still intact because they don't want to digress from the vision of Steve Jobs. That means if Apple digresses from the vision of Steve Jobs, they lose themselves. I don't know that somebody understands that. That means Apple is a concept that came from the inner being of a man. And today, it's one of the biggest telecom companies in the world. Praise the Lord. So I want to challenge everybody here. There is that specific thing that God placed on the inside of you. And it takes a light. I'm a preacher of the gospel and I preach Jesus Christ. Who the Bible says is the true light that lights up every man that comes into the world. That means the essence of Jesus was that any man born would be lit by Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to stir you as we continue listening to other people speak this evening. I want to, some, there could be somebody here and you don't know what's unique about you. It's what's on the inside. It takes the light of God to manifest it. And once that light hits you, listen, because as I close, one of the essences of light is that without the light of God, you cannot have an elevated conscience. That means that you, because it, that's a supernatural ability that gets upon your life, that can help you cut across through all the challenges of life. The Bible says something so powerful. You know the story from Egypt to the Promised Land. Moses knew a way to, eat to the Promised Land that would take 14 days. But he said, if I took people through the way of the Philistines, they would change their mind and run away. Why? Because they did not go as Moses had encountered him. So they spent 40 years, are you getting me? In bondage moving around and not being able to get to the promised land simply because they didn't know the God that Moses met, met at the burning bush. So I urge you tonight, whoever you are, depending whatever inclination you come from, to, I'm going to pray, to, 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 to search within. My responsibility. I'm a pastor. I preach the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What I know when it comes to faith is the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of you, God has placed things. There are guys here who are working in companies that are supposed to own them. They don't know it. Because that light has not yet been hit on them. When they say God is light and in Him there is no darkness. The word darkness is in Him. Listen, there is, you see, darkness means a place of ignorance. Some of you don't know why you were born. That's why you live the way you live. Some of you don't know that nations are supposed to be yours and you're here because of darkness. So, but you see, when the light of God is cast upon your soul, he's able to elevate you beyond men. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I just want to close and just pray a prayer because of time. Father, based on the words I've spoken today, just to stir up an individual in this place, wherever you may be, whatever situation you're in, I speak that this light, which only comes by Jesus Christ, the Bible says he is the true light that lights up every man that comes into this world. Father Lord, I pray for their visions. I pray for their dreams. May somebody dream like never before. Father Lord, I speak that divine enablement that gives men grace to, 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 to slay mountains, to cast down giants. I speak that grace upon their lives. And Father, we commit this evening into your hands. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. God bless you.